not a treat to see a blue sky overhead. Been all too little of that this year. Five, six. Fifteen, love. Henman still well back, which is what he did when he beat Ivan Isovic in Sydney at the start of the year. Semi-final. Thirty love. Good body. Forty love. <laughs> Game. Crowd check. Six games all, tied right. So the champion answering Henman's love game with a love game of his own. And the press seats today absolutely crammed, packed there. Henman to serve, quiet please, thank you. Taking the news of this battle all over the world. <laughs> One zero, try check. Perhaps a little lucky that it clipped the top of the net, disturbing Henman's look at it. One off. Well, there was no sun to worry him there. Just the pace of the return. Two one. Right head. Enough. Two all. How far he's asking. Here it comes. It's not altogether off the centre of the racket. That being charitable, a total miss hit. In fact, so often they are the effective ones because you can't do anything about them. But that just missed. Three, two, Henman. Four, two, Henman. Well, I think that's the worst point of all to drop, really. Good for Henman there, because uh, Krychek has a long walk to think about. Two bad volleys. Four, three, Henman.
five three. Hammond. Thank you very much. Where's our ready? Thank you. Well, this is pretty cool decision making. A lot of footwork needed by Crytek there, which gets him out of the way for that nice little drop shot. Well, this is pretty cool decision making. A lot of footwork needed by Crytek there, which gets him out of the way for that nice little drop shot. And this is exactly the position Henman found Six, himself in three. in the match on Sunday. Henman. Quiet, please. Thank you. Six four, Hemman. Pretty cool way to save the first set point. Here's another. Quiet, please. Six five, Hemman. Well, I just hope his mind isn't going back to Sunday when he played Hardhouse, because at this very juncture, set point to him in the tiebreak, he double faulted. Quiet, please. They didn't hear the call. Quiet, please. All. Well, almost as painful to have missed a volley that was certainly winnable. Daphne there getting excited for Richard Krejcik. And David Felgate churning away inside at the lost opportunity. Seven six, Hemmen. So another set point. Quiet, please. Thank you. Both. Quiet, please. Thank you. Seven all. Well, you really have to glue your eyes on the ball and ignore everything else around you. It's not all that easy. Next person. And the look of despair on his face says it all. Unexpectedly fierce, the return of serve from a good wide Eight, serve. Eight, seven, Hemman. And the forced error making him stretch, producing a fifth chance for Hemman. Quiet, please. Thank you. Quiet. A great Well, 
I really... Well, I suppose that's art. I don't know. That was so close. Could have touched. But that was plumb on the that's line, long. and Krejcik rather sarcastically thanking the linesman this time. The same man who didn't call it out last time, uh, didn't call it in last time. What a beautiful return. 30 off. Oh, yes. Thirty forty. Well, this really is the sort of return that can alter the complexion of a match or a set because this is break point. Yeah. Well, he needed, he, he knew that he needed a good first serve. That's what sorts out the men from the boys. And we have a pigeon right in front of our commentary box who just <laughs> disturbed Edmund's concentration for a second. Advantage, Henman. Well, now, what did that uh, bleep for? It was well inside. It wasn't even first close. Serve, first serve. Yes, first serve. Absolutely. I think George Diaz had no alternative. Um, it was the bleep. It wasn't the call. Krajicek was clever here. He played the sort of shot where he could expect that down the line, and sure enough, it was. Advantage, Henman. Three games all, second set. Tremendous positive thought there from Henman, finding Thank his you. best serves when he most needed them. Fifteen love. Thirty love. 